Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra, renders emerged. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. It is almost certain that the future Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 will be made on TSMC's N4P manufacturing node and this will place it at a theoretical disadvantage when compared to the TSMC NEB-based A17 Bionic, which is also forthcoming. On the other hand, if a recent tweet by the leaker at tech underscore rev is to be believed, the circumstance might become more complicated the next year. It would appear that Qualcomm intends to dual source the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 in the near future while the TSMC NE fabrication platform will be used to produce one variation of the SOAP, which is most likely intended for widespread use. On the other hand, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 for Galaxy, which is a variant that is exclusive to Samsung, will be manufactured on the 3-gap node at Samsung Foundries. It's interesting to note that the Dream Team chip, also known as the Exynos 2500, is anticipated to follow in its footsteps as well. Well, although it is not unusual for original equipment manufacturers to get chips from more than one foundry, the one and only time Apple tried this with the A9 in 2015, a catastrophe occurred. On the other hand, this time around, only Samsung users would feel the effects of the issue, rather than the whole public. In spite of this, it will be fascinating to observe how the two different Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 models perform in direct competition with one another in the real world. Just because Samsung foundries are having a track record that is less than exceptional, it is simple to assume that their products are of lower quality. However, due to its gate all-around transistor architecture, it could be able to help overcome the large performance, thermal and efficiency difference between products from TSMC that have identical specifications. Together with the additional Nubia CPU cores and support for external chips that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 offers, this might provide it with the much-needed competitive edge it needs to compete with Apple. In addition to that piece of news, as you guys already know, the Galaxy Tab S9 series is rumored to be launched in late July alongside the Galaxy Z Fold 5, Z Flip 5, and Watch 6. Well, courtesy of on leaks and my smart price, we now have a new set of renders of the Samsung Galaxy Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra, a 14.6-inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 2960 by 1848 pixels and a V-shaped notch that houses twin front-facing cameras are seen in the newly released pictures, confirming that the fundamental design of the Tab S9 Ultra will not be very different from that of its predecessor up front. On the rear of the device, the design has been subtly modified, and now the two cameras are separated from one another in separate metal rings that are located above the wireless charging pad for the S Pen. The forthcoming gadget will have precisely the same measurements of 326.4 by 208.6 by 5.5 millimeters, um, but it will be significantly heavier, clocking in at 737 grams. The battery capacity of the device will be 11,200 mAh and will support 45 watts rapid charging. Moreover, it is speculated that the Tab S9 Ultra would have an IP68 rating, and boot Android 13 with one UI 5.1 on top. The entire Tab S9 series would come equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 CPU for Galaxy, in addition to 8,12 and 16 GB of RAM, 128, 256 and 512 GB storage, and possibly more. With that information said, let me end the discussion for today. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.